Getting ready to go live in... Yes, good. Hey, so we've given away, as of today, or yesterday maybe, 20,000 Azure Sphere development kits. This is a ridiculous number of boards, and we're really excited to see what people are going to build with this. The reason that I'm excited about this board is because it is a security-focused, security-first approach to uh, creating a dev board for IoT, and it's just... Uh, yeah. Uh, besides being super powerful, um, it's also free to a lot of people who uh, signed up on the website, and... I want to make sure that those people have as easy a time as possible getting started. So let's run through a few quick options for you. If you have one of these boards and you want to start getting, get, <laughs> you want to start doing stuff with it, um, but you aren't quite sure where to start looking. So first up, obviously, Element 14 has this page on the Azure Sphere Starter Kit, which is where you can look out all of its capabilities. I'm currently working on a project that has to do with the ambient light built-in sensor uh, and the temperature sensor, which are basically going to help me do some logging without having to build a circuit around it. Although I'm also building a coat of arms for the office that I can control uh, these lightsabers via relays hooked up to this sphere. So, you know, that's uh, there's all kinds of possibilities. You don't have to do a weather station, but you can. Speaking of which, um, our uh, intern over the summer uh, put together this tutorial about using microelectronica clickboards for uh, creating a weather station that also does moisture detection and more environmental sensing. Very cool! So if you do want to expand your capabilities beyond the built-in capabilities of the board, you're welcome to do that. Of course, it also has a bunch of built-in features for motion detection, so Pardon me, you've got a three-axis accelerometer, three-axis gyroscope, <laughs> a temperature sensor, pressure and barometric sensors, and ambient light sensor. But also, you have these click expansion ports, and also, you have a Grove, a uh, Seed Grove module expansion port. So, for example, I have a passive infrared motion detector Grove module that I'm going to attach to mine, because I'd like to be able to track uh, what times of day it's brightest in here, because usually having natural light is good for video. Uh, what the temperature is like, because I have this massive shawl that I have to put on if it's cold, I'd like to know what the trends have been, so that I know whether or not to uh, dress up super warm before I come to the office. And also, yeah, just uh, maybe log my hours by having a motion sensor in here, just for me. I don't want anyone else seeing that. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's a pretty small kit for, for all of that. I should have shown you this before. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Anyway, um, Element 14 have their own out-of-the-box demo in three parts, very comprehensive. We have our own uh, workshop, which you can register for online. Uh, it's a webinar. And besides this, you've also got a couple of other options, for example, logging air quality and sending that to IoT Central, um, which is a part of Microsoft Azure. And it's a great sort of secure place to store your IoT data. <laughs> Something very important in these days. Then also, um, if you want to get extra fancy about it, you could incorporate IOTA, a cryptocurrency that is also designed around kind of security and uh, becoming very popular here. You can use that with your Azure Sphere board to create secure health records, including in this case, what they've done is used a microelectronica clickboard that does a heart rate sensing. If you're not satisfied with that, you can check out the other projects on the Azure Sphere page. Just click on the product in the bill of materials here. And I also have a tutorial on uh, controlling relays with the Azure Sphere Dev Kit. Again, this is for the Microelectronica Relay, and I kind of go through how you figure out how to use a clickboard with this guy. Uh, it was a little complex for me, and I want to make it easy for everybody else. So, uh, I'm, yeah, what, what would you build with this? Uh, show us, for one thing, 
build it and upload your tutorial or at the very least post it and tag us because I want to see. Um, even if you can't go to the effort of writing up a whole tutorial, I think just going through the process to ping the server and stuff, let us know what you're doing. Uh, I don't want to miss out. Yeah. Any questions or comments before we close up? Martin says, <laughs> hi, good morning. Yeah, give it to me. Uh, well, if you missed the giveaway, that might be a little late, but of course you can always still buy it. Uh, if you go to the uh, the Element 14 page, which is the first link in the description to this video, you can hit buy now and uh, you'll be able to get it. I'm very sorry if you missed the window, but that's live. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hack on as usual. And we'll wait to see what you make. Yeah.